far out in the uncharted backwaters of the unfashionable end of the western spiral arm of the galaxy lies a small, unregarded yellow sun, orbiting this at a distance of roughly 98 million miles is an utterly insignificant little blue-green planet whose ape-descended life forms are so amazingly primitive that they still think console games from big publishers are a pretty neat idea. This planet has, or rather had, a problem, which was this. Most of the people on it weren't playing space games. Many solutions were suggested for this problem, but most of these were largely concerned with the movements of big video game publishers, which is odd, because on the whole, big video game publishers weren't making very good games. And so the problem remained. Lots of the people weren't being space pilots, and most of them were miserable, even the ones with game consoles. This is the story of a game, a game called Star Citizen. Not a console game and not one seen or heard of by any publisher. Nevertheless, a wholly remarkable game. In many of the more relaxed civilizations on the outer eastern rim of the UEE, the Star Citizen has already supplanted the great Wing Commander as the best damn space sim ever. For though it has many modules yet to be released, and contains much that is still in alpha, or is at least wildly incomplete, it scores over the older, more pedestrian work in two important respects. First, it is slightly larger. And secondly, it has the words PC Game inscribed in large, friendly letters on its cover. Welcome to Around the Verse, Episode 42, The Talk Show at the End of the Universe.